audio tracks, you can do sampling, and you can do the looper. Imagine a place where you can turn your headphones backwards. I crashed it. I'm going to share with you guys a couple things about how to record into an MPC. And in this case, I'm using the MPCX. So I'm just going to start right here. I'm going to power this thing on and start from an empty project. I've got my various connectors lined out, different things, phone, microphone preamp. Okay, I'm going to load an empty project. I've got my mic going through this tube preamp. The mic's plugged into the back here, input. And the output of it is going into the back of the MPC right here. This MPC has a combo jack. You can do XLR and quarter inch. Um, if you need to go to quarter inch, you can get one of these adapters. The first thing I'm going to do here is I have my mic set up. So I'm going to go into the audio section and get this mic going. In this case, this Shure microphone, SM7B, is plugged into this tube preamp that goes into the back of the MPC. Input 1. I start an audio track and make sure that it's changed to input 1, and then I can get a signal on this microphone. I'm going to load up a drum kit, a drum program from my MPC 5000. So now I'm there. What do I do? I can use my voice. I have a mic set up. It's really helpful to have this preamp set up because I don't have to adjust my mic every time I turn on the MPC. This is rapping this trash, but he's into the cash. Rapping this trash, but he's into the cash. Rapping this trash, but he's into the cash. Rapping, rapping this trash, but he's into the cash. Rapping this trash, rap, rap, rapping this trash, rapping this trash. What I got here is this um, lightning cable. It's an eighth inch jack here. Okay, I got this guy here. Eighth inch jacks. Okay, I'm gonna plug that into here. I'm gonna split this thing off so that I can go into my phone here. Brian Lundin headband. Okay, I'll load up these EA Ski drums. I just want to show you guys something really quick. Okay, I'm going to shorten this up to one bar and record this kick drum on note repeat. Watch this. Seems pretty crazy. Why would I do that? BPMs here. I'm going to crank up these BPMs and create my own noise here. Watch. Okay, I can go into my sampler, change this to resample left right. There it is. Then I can come over here to my keyboard, program, edit, sample, change it to right here.
I just loaded up a drum program and it created one sound with a kick drum. I made a whole beat right there with just one drum kit. So if you just had a microphone and you needed to get into an MPC that only had a quarter inch jack, um, you can get one of these guys. It's an adapter, changes it in a quarter inch. So you can plug that into the back. Input one, and then uh, plug this into the microphone. There's essentially three ways to record into these things. On these newer ones, you can do audio tracks, you can do sampling, and you can do the looper. So those are three ways that you can capture recordings into the MPC. It saves it as a sample. So the more you keep recording and recording, it saves it as a sample. If I wanted to sample, um, we see I got an input level right there. So I'm doing pretty good. Another way I could do it is go into an audio track and record it with the sequence here. A little bit hot, a little bit hot. Check it, check it. Rapping is trash, he's getting all the cash. Put it in a stash, his rapping is trash. Rapping, 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 I'm gonna do something here that's totally crazy. It's what it's gonna be, totally nuts. I crashed it. Well, <laughs> okay, that probably means it's time for a break. I'll come back. The whole thing crashed. I've never seen that happen with an MPCX. It must have been because I had it on like 700 BPM. So it didn't like being at that many beats per minute. And I don't blame it. I have a hard time operating at 600 beats per minute too. Considering it's crashing and I've got this whole thing set up now, I can actually save this as a template. So if I crash again, I won't lose all of it. Imagine a place where you can turn your headphones backwards and use them as a microphone. It's a wonderful place. It's all up to you to turn your headphones backwards. Ancient technology on a new technology level. You've never seen anything like it. Come to Headphone Wonderland. Have all your dreams come true. So true. Such a special place when you turn your headphones backwards. Such a 
Instrument one, or I can go like this plug my bass into my preamp. That way, I've got output control so I can crank that tube, crank that tube, crank that tube, crank that tube. <laughs> Here it is with an audio track. I got a beat going. Figured out this little bass line. Check it out. watching